Maybach music. Hey guys, I've got this Wilton cake board and a pizza pan to start this project. This is just a chocolate box cake. Um, I baked it in a round cake pan. Um, it's cool because I baked it the night before. Put it on the cake platter, I guess, on the pan and put the icing over. It's vanilla icing from the other cakes. If you have not seen those videos of the Minion Cake and the Princess and the Frog Pull Apart Cake, I will link them in the description box below. I'm just adding a layer, it's supposed to be a thin layer, called the Crumb Layer. Um, and then if you're going to use icing for your cake, you continue to ice it after the crumb layer. So I'm just taking out the other half of the cake out of the pan. Um, I actually used my butter knife and kind of just scooped it out to help it a little bit because it, it was in there even though I buttered it. the top part um, all iced I'm just cleaning it the board with a paper towel so that I can keep it neat and clean so I'm putting down parchment paper so that I can start working with my fondant I've got some powdered sugar um, grape yeah you can because I mean it all worked the same you can use the brand if you want to but my coins have to stretch me um, I'm putting it down because I, either I read it somewhere or I probably see it on YouTube where this makes the surface a lot better for um, working with fondant. So I've got this Wilton white box fondant because we're going to need a lot. I've got the red for a pepperoni, like a small thing. And I've got this icing color from the cake aisle in copper. The copper color was actually the wrong color um, and you will see it in a bit. Um, so I'm just taking out some of the white fondants and rolling it out to like the illusion of the crust on a pizza because this is a pizza cake um, for Ninja Turtles because my son loves Ninja Turtles. I actually found this inspiration from another lady on YouTube and I will link it in the description box below. I just added the pieces of the white fondant on the top of the cake, um, you know, for the crust of the pizza so that's it i just rolled it in little bits and pizzas so that it all can stretch across the cake so now i'm just getting the rest of my fondant and i am getting some crisco vegetable oil shortening to rub across my hands um because i have found out um that it makes it a little more easy to get the fondant pliable and I'm just stretching it. So I've just got that copper color and I'm gonna add it to the fondant. This is the color that the lady that I got the inspiration from used, but it just did not work. So there it is, just adding it on to the white fondant. And it looks orange, which I thought was fine because that's how hers looked. So I'm just kneading it and um, using that shortening to help me get the color through just keep mixing it up and see it looks more and more orangey and the more I added the more orange it became it just was not the right color so I had to start over with a new box of white fondant and I'm kind of freaking out at this point because I'm hours before my kids birthday party um, so I got the white fondant and some more icing color from the cake owl in Walmart. The fondant also came off of this owl. Every fondant that I have, um, just working it out like I did before with the shortening to make it more pliable. Y'all, I am really losing my mind. Um, it actually was late for my kid's birthday party, but this is the brown, and this was the best color for that pizza crust color. I just did the same, added some, and mixed it in so that it can start getting that brown th throughout the fondant. So I just kept adding the color into the fondant and mixing it. 
happening until it became this color and I feel like this color is actually the pizza or close enough to the pizza crust color um so when I started putting the color in I kind of um forgot that I didn't take out fondant for cheese so I had to hurry up and take some out I'm gonna do that off camera but I'm just going to flatten it out and um roll the fondant out so that I can put it on the cake with that um I taught myself how to decorate with fondant set from Walmart. Um, it's Wilton. I have this uh, bag on my hand. I mean glove because I completely catered this birthday party. So I made homemade marinara sauce and um, I kind of cut myself on the pointer finger. Um, and I just wanted to put a glove on that finger so that I can work with these cakes. But here it is, the fondant over there. And I'm really freaking out at this point because i am got a hole in it and I'm just completely making a mess. I am losing my mind. Uh, I actually took that um, copper color which came in handy and I used um, the little brush that came inside um, that fondant. Um, I decorated myself how to make fondant uh, sit and it's really for water to stick stuff to put water in spaces to stick fondant to fondant but I used it as a paint brush um, with that copper color to make it look like crust and it's actually coming out pretty cool. So I'm just taking um, that portion of the fondant that I was telling you about for cheese and I'm pulling it to make it look like little cheese pieces because you need cheese for a pizza. Just added the cheese all over the top of the cake. Um, I really messed up the sides so Norman is helping me by rolling out um, the rest of the fondant in that brown color and we're just going to cover the whole sides to make it um, a little smoother. I'm rolling out the red fondant um, and I'm going to take the top from that brown color to make the circles for the pepperonis. and just add them to the top of my cake by adding some shortening to the back of the pepperoni so that it can stick and I'm just putting that copper all the way down so that it can meet that new um, sides that Norman and I fixed so this is it just adding some more copper it's starting to look like a pizza so cute and I'm kind of happy so I got these Ninja Turtle toys from Walmart um, they're like a nine dollars and something but I will link it in the description box below it's going on top to be the cake topper I just added some Crisco shortening to the bottom of the toys on top of the cake added some icing to the base of the cake and on the bottom of the toys on the cake board itself LED candlelight holder to the top of this completed this cake. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!